Well, I would start with a baseline of an olive oil that you like and feel comfortable cooking with. There's great ones in every price point. And there's great low price ones and there's, you know, obviously, I, I hate, I'm like scared of using really fancy olive oil because I don't want to waste it myself. But, um, and I would keep salt and pepper and olive oil in my house at all times and lemon. And then you can, and also I would focus on preparing food and not cooking right away. Like prepare really nice things for yourself that don't require cooking, especially if you're not comfortable. Um, I have in my book, so sorry to be so pushy, but um, they're called breakfast toasts. But I eat them all day long when I kind of cooked a meal for my kids or, or, or my, and my husband and then I sort of, you know, whatever it is, I got busy and didn't eat myself. I make these toasts when I don't feel like cooking that are so delicious. And you sort of start to feel like a hero. And, um, you know, when you, when you haven't spent time preparing food before. So I would start with something simple like the breakfast toasts or any toast that you find. Do you have a toaster oven? I think that should be Do your you have an oven? Purchase. Yeah. So are there shoes and newspapers in your oven? Yeah, take the shoes and the newspapers out and see if it turns on. Yeah. <laughs> and also, you don't need a toaster for some of them. You can use a wasa cracker. 